Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to create a double exposure photo effect in Photoshop. It is very easy and quick, so let's dive in and start the tutorial. And here is the photograph that I am going to use for this effect. The first thing we need to do is separate the subject from the background. If your photo has white background, then skip this step. So I am going to select, choose select and mask. In the dialog box here, I am going to click on select subject, which will extract the subject from the background. And next, click on this refine hair, which will add any unselected hair to the selection. If any part of the subject is missing or has any inconsistent selections, then take the refine brush tool, simply paint on this area like this to make the perfect selections. Then in output settings, check decontaminate colors which will remove any edge fringes and simply set output to new layer with layer mask then click ok all right now we successfully removed the background now we need to add the white background we can do it by simply add the solid color adjustment and select the white color now it's time to place some trees for double exposure effect go to file and place choose any trees which have bright skies or bright backgrounds and this looks good now change the blending to lighten or screen you can use any one of them but i prefer to use lighten blend mode now press ctrl or command plus t rotate it and scale the tree whatever you want according to your preference Now if you notice here, there is a color difference between the background and the sky and I want the sky to be whiter. So go to adjustments and add levels and adjust the brighter areas like this to match the sky to the background. Now let me select all layers and move them a little bit to the middle of the document. Okay, alright. Now the levels are affecting the whole image and I don't want to do that so I'm adding the clipping mask by holding alt or option key and click on middle of the two layers it will add a clipping mask to the layers now I'm going to add one more tree but this time with some birds in it which add some drama to the final effect again move it rotate it scale it whatever you want using the shortcut key ctrl or command plus T and change the blending to lighten let's zoom in it little so we can see the things clearly here in this place it looks good okay now again we need to brighten the sky to match to the background so go to adjustments and add levels click this little icon to add the clipping mask and move the white slider towards left to brighten the sky This part of the image is little disturbing so I will hide it by adding layer mask. Take brush tool, paint on the areas that you want to hide the hide with black color like this. I want to scale and move the first tree layer. So select tree and control or command plus T and place it where it looks good. And some parts of the trees are covering the subject face and I don't want I don't want that so add layer mask take brush tool and paint on areas with black color to uncover it Now select all layers, maybe I want to scale up little bit. Okay, that's it. Now group all layers. You can use the right click and 
choose group from layers or simply click ctrl or command plus g and that's it here is the double exposure effect you can create this effect using flowers buildings trees and many more the ideas are endless and all you have to do is some creativity and that's it for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed this simple photo effect please like share and subscribe for more photoshop tutorials please hit the bell to turn on notifications so that you never miss any update from my channel see you guys in my next video take care happy editing